Boom! We are live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Nolan Hawkeye Anthony YouTube channel. And I thank all of you guys for being here, wherever you may be. And of course, however you may be listening. Today, I want to give you guys my thoughts on the recent uh, events that have occurred. Uh, namely, Chris Murray deciding to return to the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, Iowa playing Duke uh, in, I forget what matchup it is, but they will be playing Duke uh, in New York City. I think it might be the 2K Classic or the Jimmy V uh, tournament. We will get clarification on that. And Matt Gaten's, uh becoming an assistant coach uh, for the Iowa Hawkeye men's basketball team. Uh, but before we get into any of that, I want to mention going to 247hawkeye.com. Smash that subscribe button. Help your boy get to 1,000 subs because, well, subscribing makes you feel good. I'd really like to get there before... Uh, the season start the football season starts so we can do super chats and and things like that when we go live uh, I am incredibly grateful to everyone who has been with me for this journey you guys are the best Iowa fans truly are the best in the world I say that all the time uh, but it's because I love saying it uh, that's why I say it because I love to say it uh, and be sure to follow me on Twitter at 247 Hawkeye. And without further ado, let's get into this. Right off the bat, we're going to get into the Chris Murray deciding to come back to the Iowa Hawkeyes and just hit on this real quick. Listen, guys, um, I'm not surprised. I was never telling you guys that I thought he was going to be gone. Um, you know, this happens every year The when there is a decision that is looming either from an Iowa football player or an Iowa basketball player, the Iowa media plays it up way more than they should. And it starts to become this highly anticipated decision that in reality really should, shouldn't be that way. I mean, it was that way with uh, Tyler Cook, Luca Garza, Joe Wee. I mean, it's been that way with all the players. And here's the deal, guys. Each player, we know when, we all know when they're going to leave and, and when they're not. Uh, you can trust your gut on that. You know, Luca Garza uh, would maybe be the exception because he didn't have to come back. But by and large, as fans, we know when a guy is good enough to leave and when he's not. Uh, and when it comes to basketball, you know, it is a such a huge benefit for these guys to go through the NBA draft gauntlet for training purposes to just see what the process is all about and to just get better as an overall player and person that it would be silly not to take advantage of that. We saw Joe Wieskamp take advantage of it. Now, he was so successful that, you know, obviously he didn't return to the Hawkeyes. So maybe it's not as cut and dry as I'm trying to say, but all I'm saying is that by and large as Iowa fans, we know when a guy is good enough to leave and we know when they're not. And Chris Murray, I was never really uh, concerned about him uh, leaving because he had so much to gain by coming back so much to gain by coming back to the Iowa Hawkeyes. And uh, I mean, he had, he stayed in the draft, he would have been maybe not even for sure, maybe a second round pick likely headed to the G league, the NBA G uh, G league. Now he comes back and he could play himself into a top 15 pick next year, top 20 pick with, with tons of guaranteed money right off the bat. So this was absolutely the right decision. Uh, again, not surprised by it. what does it mean for the Iowa Hawkeyes? Well, Iowa is a top, I said this way back when in the video that I did uh, pre, you know, doing an early, 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 early preview of the Iowa men's basketball team. Uh, and I said, Iowa would be a top 30, depending on who stays and who goes, maybe top 25 team. And they still are. That's exactly what they are now. Chris Murray comes back. Some outlets have them as a top 20 caliber team. I would have them as a top 25, but by and large, they're top 30. 
Okay. I would have them top 25. Some places have them top 20, but as just a general rule of thumb, they are going to be a top 30 team going in to next year. And Chris Murray, he's going to be the guy. He is going to be the guy, him and Patrick Murray, or excuse me, Patrick McCaffrey. It's going to be both of their teams. Uh, you know, we'll see who gets the most of it. Um, I think they can both be very, uh, they can both have equal shares of the team, kind of like Joe Wieskamp and Luca Garza. Um, you know, maybe it might be different because they're both forwards, they're wing players. Um, but, uh, you know, Chris Murray, I'm super excited, uh, for him, very talented, uh, and I, I absolutely think that this is the right decision for the Iowa Hawkeyes. This means that they will be expected to be an NCAA tournament team yet again next year. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, competing in the Big Ten once again. Okay, number two, Iowa versus Duke here. This is, you know, a huge game. Um, and what, is the, what does this mean, guys? Well, it means that Iowa and Fran McCaffrey are serious about making Iowa a national brand. Uh, and they're serious about improving their name when it comes to recruiting on the recruiting trails. You know, there's tons of different areas that you can, you know, sell, sell your program on the recruiting trail, you know, making the NCAA tournament, winning the Big Ten title, uh, and the other thing is playing in big games. And this is one of them. Uh, playing against Duke is, is huge. Uh, it puts it absolutely puts Iowa on the map. Iowa will meet up with 2022 Final Four participant Duke this coming season. According to a report by John Rothstein, the matchup will be part of the Jimmy V Classic scheduled for December 6th at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Massive, guys. Massive. Uh, and you know, my, my take on Fran McCaffrey is, is this. By and large, he has been a success as Iowa men's basketball head coach. He just, he just has, guys. I did a video um, going doing a deep dive of how successful or unsuccessful he's been. And the answer is he's been very successful, guys. Uh, he, there's always room for improvement. But, but let's just look at this, okay? He, Fran McCaffrey has uh, coached national player, of the players of the year in Luca Garza twice, but definitely once, you know, he was the consensus NPOY. Okay. Uh, he's going to be having coached a top 15 draft pick in Keegan Murray may pro probably top 10. Iowa just won a big 10 tournament title. Uh, and the, the program is as, oh, one more thing. The offense is one of the best offensive teams in the entire country. And the program by and large is one of the most, well, not the most, but definitely a well-respected ball club in the big 10. So this has been a success. And if you include the COVID year where Iowa most definitely was going to make the NCAA tournament. Iowa would have made the NCAA tournament for five consecutive seasons. That's incredible. It really, really is. Uh, you know, do, it, do I wish that Fran Mc, and even think that Fran McCaffrey should have gotten some of his teams to the Sweet 16? Absolutely. And I'm, you know, and we cannot let him off the hook for that either. But I also think you have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, and, you know, Fran continues to do good stuff by scheduling a game against Duke in Madison Square Garden. That's going to be a huge game. I'm super stoked for it. Uh, and that is big time. And last but not least, Matt Gaines uh, is going to join the Iowa men's basketball team. This is, this is a great hire. Matt Gaines. Uh, it, you know, I think he's going to be a great recruiter on the recruiting trail. Um, you know, he has connections. He's very knowledgeable. You know, I don't know, you know, if he's a natural uh, when it comes to recruiting, but all the things are in place for him to be a good recruiter. You know, he's a former basketball player. Uh, he, he has relationships in the state of Iowa, probably strong relationships in the entire Midwest. Uh, and he knows 
Fran McCaffrey really well. He knows what this basketball program desires, uh, what they want, and what they think they can accomplish. Matt Gaetans know, knows it inside and out. Matt Gaetans was, in my opinion, one of the top three, well, let's say top five most influential Iowa players under Fran McCaffrey as he decided to stay and play with Fran and stick it out with Fran McCaffrey after the firing of Todd Licklider when he could have left. And by him deciding to do that, it, it, it immediately, not immediately, but it allowed Iowa to get back to being competitive. And that was huge. So Matt Gatons, diehard Iowa fan, He's a player. He was a player, a really good player. Now he's going to be a coach. This is a slam dunk hire, uh, totally a slam dunk, 360 win. No matter how you slice it, I think he's going to be a great recruiter. He has all the relationships, very knowledgeable in basketball. For me, I hope he provides or he can bring a little bit of defensive help as coach. We'll see. Nonetheless, he is a good coach, uh, and I think we're going to feel the benefits of his hire almost immediately. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe subscribe button. Help your boy out because, well, subscribing makes you feel good. At the very least, like, comment, share. You know the drill. I will see you guys next time. DBAP, don't be a pussy willow. In facts or feelings because your feelings just don't matter. See you guys next time. Go Hawks. Bye-bye.